Thank you my friends and welcome back. This is a animated four stroke model in Excel. You can see a crankshaft uh, rotating. You can add a piston. Then you can add a connection rod, a con rod. Let's uh, decrease the speed. You can also add other elements such as valves, spark plug. You can see the spark there. You can change the duration of the spark from one to five. Let's keep it on two. You can also bring uh, into visibility the uh, intake, the exhaust, the crankcase, and the cylinder. And you can also see this from the outside, from the inside, and none at all. You can also bring in a flywheel smoke which can be white or black also gas visibility inside the cylinder can change the speed of this thing make it run very fast or much slower you can also change the the colors you see the color of the background the color of the cylinder, the color of the crankcase, everything has a an array of colors you can uh, choose from. You can also run it into a color changing demo mode in which the there's a routine that changes the, the color of each uh, element with respect to a certain table. You can also create your own custom everything, presence or absence of different elements, colors, and then save it into a, let me stop this, into a certain location, like here, there's a long table, literally thousands of cells, you can make thousands of uh, setups, and um, I give an example, you set this to location 10, so in location 10, I can read Location 10, you have this configuration. Location 9, wait, location 11, 8, read. So that's what you have in location. Uh, let's uh, change this to, I don't know, let's say this, and store it in location 10. So store it, then I can go here. That's what I have in location 9, location 10, I have that. How is this done? Is created using PowerPoint. Give an example, this is a PowerPoint I I use one of the files I use to create this. I downloaded some real engine blueprint. Try to maintain certain proportions and create my own. File is here, PowerPoint, use shapes. So here is another one. I'm running through some pages. Show you how I made it. So this is not yet uh, ready to download, I mean it's ready, the file is ready, I just need to upload it on the site. This model is made with sprites, which means every shape is created in PowerPoint here and you can see I have a bunch of them, one for each color. So soon you will be able to download this. Right now, let's go into a tutorial. I will show you the first um, two macros that I used when I started animation. Close this and open a new version of Excel. How I started, uh, I had a girlfriend who had some kind of knowledge about this uh, Microsoft product. I asked her to show me two things. First, show me a macro that can count up a number in a cell, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So she said, um, I'm trying to translate to the new Excel because at that time it was the old Excel. Go to developer, visual basic, uh, hit sheet one, select this and type create a macro. Now you can go to Google. I always advise you, even when you're advanced, to not to memorize too much and actually Google search on use old files, don't load your mind with uh, syntax keep your mind for creativity and enjoyment so you can say how to write 
macro VBA. And then uh, you get all these examples here. You can, again, people will write a lot, much more than you need. What you need is just uh, say, they write tons of stuff because they advertise. And the more they write, the more visitors Google sends. So it's hard, you know, you need to make your own basic uh, primitive, you know, simple macros and copy and paste, or just go there and copy something, try to clean it to the almost none. Usually people write in Excel in uh, VBA 10 times more than they need. The code is, and again, there's all kind of uh, cocky people trying to say, oh, you need this, you need, no, you don't. Three to five lines, maybe 10 lines will do it the same as 50 lines in VBA. And again, if you work in a job, you might need to follow the rules, you know, use option explicit and all this nonsense in my opinion and make it look complicated so you get paid more you get a better job review i always like to clean it up so how you start is uh, write a very simple macro like i said google how to write a macro macro starts like this sub give a name let's say uh, count up so this is a name and then this again if you hit return automatically the Excel will fill out the end of the end state. You can put private. Private means uh, the, the macro is not visible when you have a shape and try to attach a macro to associate a macro, assign a macro to a shape, it's not going to be visible. So for certain macros that you don't want the users to see, you put private. Or you can put public. I'm not going to put it because if I don't use anything, the default is public. And then you can say be 10 okay so range b10 is equal to range b10 plus one and let's see how it works check this out one two three i ran the macro from here okay one two three four five i can uh, also insert a button such as a shape i like shapes because they work cleaner than the buttons insert shapes or pictures you can choose a picture but uh, either picture or shape and uh, type in let's say start and assign macro right click assign macro count up and check this out when I click on it this number will increase its values okay Another thing I like to do is uh, try to use this button to initiate a loop. So because when you animate anything, you have a clock like this counts continuously. And as it counts, there's certain calculations in the sheet and certain charts that takes this into con take this in consideration. So which means the calculation have this as a argument. And that's how you get uh, generate the movement. So when B10 changes, the tables and the chart are updated and this is perceived as movement. Let's look for loops. You can you can go here and type loop how to how to loop VBA and then you can get a lot of these uh, tutorials and again the tutorials have 10 to 100 times more than you need and this is because uh, these sites are uh, optimized for SEO search engine optimization and the more useless stuff they add there, the more visitors they get and uh, from Google and the more they can sell. With VBA, the, the critical part is learn how to take usually a very small fraction of what you see there. It will do the same thing as the big stuffy code. People like to write big, big code. So I like a loop called do, it's an infinite loop. The first, uh, the beginning of the loop syntax is the word do, and the end is the word loop. So let's look at this uh, thing, start it. You see it's running up, counting up very, very fast. Okay. I hit uh, escape, and as usual, you know, micro Microsoft will crash. I mean, the. Uh, that's how it is. It has all this new, every time they put new stuff, new crap, and the basic functionality is lacking. I mean, f f uh, reliability is just zero in any Microsoft product. It just crashes. End of memory, you know, end of everything. 
why? I mean, this is just a basic. There's nothing here. Why it has to crash? Now I have to shut down the computer or whatever. Close the window. Yeah. See, look. The object invoked has disconnected from its client. Why? Okay, so. Sometimes, you know, you can end it. But I'm telling you, you need to use something called do events. Do, this is a very extremely important statement. Every time the loop runs, it will stop it for a moment. Look, do I need to update the screen? Do I get a, an escape or whatever command from the user? Now it's not going to crash, okay? So let's run it again. And now escape. Well, now escape doesn't work. We can stop it from. So in order to stop it from the same button, we need to uh, do something. Before that, I would like to show you something, okay? I don't like, um, if there's an easier easier way to do it, I will do it the easier way. So instead of range B10, I use square brackets B10, and that's equivalent to range B10 round, bracket, round parentheses. Check this out, it's the same thing. So here the same thing, square bracket, B10, square bracket, close them. See, much easier. So in order to make uh, this button start stop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here and uh, inside the button I'm gonna say start pause. I don't want start stop, I want start pause. I want to be able to start the macro from the place we left it. So this is just a name. So go here and say count up. Start You can not use hyphen because it interprets the hyphen as a minus sign as a subtraction. So I change the name to start pause. I go here and say assign macro start pause okay and in start pause let's let's do this so let's copy this and say go here and type conditional statement in VBA and uh, look at all these uh, conditions. The main one is if, the if statement, okay? If, else, if, whatever. So check out, like I said, people write 10 to 100 times more than is needed. Just pick up the simplest, try it. If it doesn't work, go to the next side. Don't even give a chance to the old side. Go to the next one till you find something simple, okay? This is also too complicated, but you, you can. After a while, you develop a sense and you know how to clean it in seconds. Conditional logic in VBA. They try to make it pathetic, you know, sound like official, like whatever. Let's close this. So if the st syntax is this, since I used it recently, I know the syntax. If B, let's say B7, 7, seven is equal to running. So the word running, I need to put it in in uh, quotation marks running then b7 so control v b7 is equal to stopped else You go here and you need to end this if statement with a line and if so uh, the program corrected me because I kept I uh, wrote them together if b7 is running then b7 will be turned into stopped so let's see if it runs if it uh, works you see running 
stopped running stop but it doesn't really stop it so in order to stop the macro let's stop it from here and uh, put a conditional do loop which means do while and here logical condition okay logic condition I just say logic condition to give you a general idea but actually you need to put a condition like b7 is equal to running okay so if B, if the condition is control C, B7 is equal to running, if this is true, if B7 is truly equal to running, then it runs through the loop. Otherwise, it, it stops the loop. So you can go to Google and type do while or conditional do loop. So this should work if you have running here in this cell. If you have running, the loop should run. If you hit and it turns into stopped, it should stop it. Okay? So let's run it again. You see, running, stopped. It stops the loop. So it printed, the loop does, uh, the macro prints here stopped, and then it stops the loop. If I hit again, it should change the stop into running, because in the if statement, if this is equal to stopped, if this is not running so else it turns into a running and it starts the loop again check this out you see start stop macro the other uh, important macro is a macro associated with a spin button that you can control a parameter but uh, we will do this in the next uh, video thanks for watching